Coffee is not the only source of caffeine these days. Energy drinks are the new buzz, but they also raise concerns. That's right, Giselle. Inside Lehman's Nicole Ashley shows us how making informed choices can help you know exactly what you're drinking. Energy drinks have become increasingly popular among young people generally, as well as athletes of all ages. The companies that produce these beverages claim that their products will give people more energy, as well as other physical benefits, both on and off the field. But shall we believe the hype? When you drink it, you feel like, oh, you can do everything. But after a while, of course, that will come down and it will have a, you know, like an aftershock effect. Professor Gul Somez is the coordinator of a new exercise science program in the Department of Health Sciences at Lehman College. She examines how what we consume affects the body and notes that many energy drinks contain high levels of caffeine and vitamin B12. That may not necessarily be good for a young person's health, especially if consumed quickly and in large quantities. When they take this high level of caffeine as a stimulant and it will cause many heart problems and high blood pressure problems and also it will prevent them from sleeping, it will make them hyper. In fact, the effects of stimulants have led to a controversial ban on energy drinks in several European countries including France and Norway. Here in the U.S., the National Collegiate Athletic Association regulates alcohol, tobacco, and stimulant use in college athletics. Athletes need to be more aware of what ingredients are in which drinks because not all beverages are the same. The rules and regulations, NCAA has a lot of uh, rules on drugs. And if, it's, if it enhances your performance in any way, which caffeine does because it helps to give you a lot of energy, they, they ban the substance because they take it as an unfair advantage to other athletes who are not taking any performance enhancing uh, drugs or supplements. So if energy drinks are causing all this commotion, why are these products so popular? Um, for the most part, just for I me, mean, it's an energy drink, just for the energy. I don't drink a lot of soda and I don't drink coffee, so I mean, somewhere to get some caffeine from and it just wakes you up a bit. A lot of people are using energy drinks to basically just work, to stay up and to, a lot of them have hectic schedules with school and work and sports and stuff like that. So I mean, a lot of people do use them for a variety of reasons. Some energy drinks contain about the same amount of caffeine as a cup of coffee, but some brands contain triple that amount. Consuming such high levels of caffeine might just be sufficient cause for a person to experience heart problems. These high energy drinks are cold and people are consuming high amount in at one sip almost. But like coffee, uh, co coffee or tea, we are sipping slowly because they are hot. We cannot drink it right away. So our body can metabolize slowly. Some consumers also try to boost their energy for a late night at clubs or parties. They sometimes think that by mixing energy drinks with alcohol, they can counteract the body's natural tendency to fall asleep. For some, that may mean elevated blood pressure or stronger hangovers. It's a stimulant and a depressant. It's up and a downer. No, definitely not. You're not tired, no. You're up, you're like wired. Alcohol is a depressing effect. And it's a high energy drinks have a stimulant effect. So what they are doing is they are trying to hinder the depressing effects of alcohol by taking the stimulants so they can last longer. Now that we've seen the problems, what can we do to improve our energy levels without stimulants and depressants? As each new temptation finds its way to the public, the experts stress a return to the natural ways. Everything has to be natural, and if you want to be healthy, first of all, you need to eat healthy and exercise regularly. That is what we always suggest, and you should not try to get any um, help from outside trying to push your limits. So before you pick up another energy drink, think about how much caffeine you are consuming and how this could be hazardous to your health. Remember, everything is better when taken in moderation. Educate yourself. Read the label on the back of the bottle and know exactly what you're drinking before you drink it. Nicole Ashley, Inside Lehman.